Now the Nintendo Switch is a great system and I custom painted mine to almost look like a Switch Lite, but my Joy-Cons do come off. And the only thing that I couldn't do on the original Switch here was change the color of the thumbsticks. They had to stay black and the Switch Lite actually had white thumbsticks. So I went on Amazon and ordered a set of white thumbsticks and we're gonna be installing them on my Joy-Cons coming up. So like I said, I ordered the thumbsticks on Amazon. They were 15 bucks for the set. And I also ended up ordering a set of white buttons. Now I did paint the buttons on my Joy-Cons, but the buttons that would have normally the X, Y, B, and A, when I painted it, they painted over the indication of what button they are. So I'll be switching those out, but you can't get the home button, the select and start button, and the capture button in white. All right, of course, first thing is we have to take the screws off on the back and they are a tri-wing screwdriver that you need. There's four of them on the back and then once you take that off, the back piece will just come right off and don't pull too hard because there's ribbon cables there. And then pulling up the battery, it's gonna be held on by some adhesive, so you just have to pull out it pretty gently. Two screws on the top right near the triggers and then one down on the bottom and your little piece pulls up just like that. And you can remove the ribbon cable here if you want, it's optional, but you definitely have to remove the ribbon cable to the thumbstick itself once you take out these two screws here. And you just lift up the tab and pull out the ribbon cable. And there's this stock black thumbstick and the new white thumbstick, which I'll be replacing. And just insert the ribbon cable right there and make sure it's locked down and then you can add the two screws right back onto it and you're good as done. Unless you wanna be changing the buttons like I will be. So I took apart the rest of the controller there and popped out the buttons that I painted. Again, we'll be replacing them with these white buttons that I ordered. There they are there and they have all the ones that you need. And they come with a bag of screws as well if you don't have that. And they also come with the screwdrivers needed to take apart everything. Now one thing I want to do is make the button stand out a little bit more so I'm adding a little bit of gray paint on top of it. Letting that dry and you can either scratch it off with your fingernail or use an X-Acto blade, a nice sharp one, and scrape it off the top so the paint just stays in to the inlay. So you can see what the buttons are a little bit easier. And another thing I'm doing, these buttons had a hard trouble fitting into where they are. So I'm using the X-Acto blade just to scrape off a little bit of plastic around the button. So this way they sit into the Joy-Con a little bit easier and they're easier to press. Once that was done, just put the buttons back into the controller and put your rubber membrane back in and make sure to add your Z button. And then the circuit board just goes back in and again it's reverse of assembly add your screws in and tighten everything up it's great to have a magnetic screwdriver during this part here because these screws are very tiny and it's a lot easier when you have that magnetic tip on your screwdriver and then it's just the three screws to put this back in and you'll be able to put the battery back in and snap the back case right on it. And again, this is a great reason if you're having Joy-Con drift in your Joy-Cons and you want to replace the thumbstick other than aesthetic peel. And there it is, there's the finished product. You can see how the buttons pop a little bit more with that light gray in there. And the thumbstick being white really pulls the theme together. Now on to my left Joy-Con. As you can see, I do have the D-pad on this one and I'll just be replacing the thumbstick. No need to replace the buttons on mine. And again, it's the same four screws using a tri-wing screwdriver to pop those off. Don't lose your little button there. And this one only has one screw right on the bottom right there. And then when you pull the battery off, you'll have four screws underneath. Now these are different sizes, so it's easy to confuse them. So make sure you put them in an orientation you won't forget. Now I'm removing a screw right here just to pull up this little piece of board 
because it's covering the screw on the thumbstick and we need to get to that. And you can see how tiny these screws are and which ones they are because they're different lengths. And again, using my tweezers, I can remove the ribbon cables right there. These tweezers are great. They have a plastic base there instead of metal, so it's not harming the ribbon cable. Then once the thumbstick is replaced, it's just adding the screws back on. Again, I'm not going to change the buttons out on this one because I do have the D-pad option on this Joy-Con. It's a little pain to get these ribbon cables and they probably gave me the most trouble. Then remember which screws go where. Add your battery back on and just reassemble the back and you're good to go. Just changing bits back to the tri-wing. And there it is, nice and clean compared to the other Joy-Con there. Again, I added the D-pad. It just plays a little bit better for some of the platformer games. And look at that, looking like a Switch Lite, fully custom though, it's a regular Switch. Giving it a try on some Splatoon 2 where you use a lot of analog stick movement. Seems to be working great. And of course, you gotta try out Smash Brothers. I'm not the greatest player, but <laughs> it works. So there it is guys, all put together and it looks awesome with the full theme. Quick shout out to my buddy Aaron. He saw my last video and he ended up sending me a sticker to add to the back of my Switch to complete it. So thanks so much, man. And guys, if you thought this video was helpful, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. I have plenty of DIY tutorials on the channel, so consider subscribing so you don't miss out when I upload new content. Well, I'm going to get back to some Switch gaming. So, as always, gamers, I'm Russ Lyman, and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video. And I want to give a super shout out to all my Patreon supporters, Dan Buchanan, Joey Ellis, George Sandoval, Joseph Riviera, Nintendo, Joe Shivi, David Apuzo, Maynard, Brian Culpepper, TechWizX, Matthew Hannigan, Alex Kaz, Ayan Oshie, Amanda Bartlett, Gannon Man, and all my Patreon supporters. Link below if you want to join, and I'll see you later.